Our next task is to define the evaluation objects. Starting from the main screen, click on the short link to the Evaluation Objects menu. Now select Evaluation Objects Properties. Click on the button with a green cross to open the dialog box and see the available evaluation objects. You can select the various evaluation elements types on the left side and then see a preview of the evaluation elements on the right hand side. In this case, select the maximum usually chosen for the detection of part filled molds. Now you enter the screen where you define the properties. You now define the upper and lower limits, in this case 300 and 100 bar. You also define the time limits. In this example, we will choose 1 and 1.5 seconds. This is only a rough placement. The exact definition of the box takes place in the next step. On the left side, you can see that the evaluation element has the status Enabled. This means it is actively influencing the amount of passed and scrapped parts. Here we have chosen the sorting output. In this example, only one sorting output is available because channel 1 is linked to the sorting output IMM2. There is a separate video tutorial that explains how to define sorting outputs. Confirm to return to the menu Evaluation Objects Properties. Now you can position the evaluation object exactly where you want it. Here you can see the curve from the last cycle. You can now slide the evaluation object to the maximum because its purpose is to monitor the maximum of the curve. Use the Move button and the arrow keys to move the evaluation object. You can position it even more accurately with the One Fifth Step button. If it is necessary to change the size, this can be done using the Resize button and the arrow keys. Here you can see the lower limit, which is marked green. The curve must always pass through this line, or at least reach this level. The red limit must never be exceeded. Now we have created the evaluation object for channel 1. In this example, the aim is to set up monitoring for four channels. The evaluation object can now be copied to the other channels because the graphs move at more or less the same height. Copy the evaluation object and paste it in the other channels. Finally, confirm by clicking on Save and Activate. As you can see, we have now created four evaluation objects on the four channels. In a later step, the evaluation objects can be activated.